What's going on guys, I'm back with another video and this video I'm about to share a quick trick that you guys need to know for the August SAT that's coming up for the math section especially. Every time I see a lot of students, they'll see a question like this with exponents and then, they, then they're like, oh shoot, I forgot to study exponents because it's not that heavily tested on the SAT, but that doesn't mean that whenever you see an exponent question, you get it wrong. Because guys, every question matters on this August SAT, right? So you got to get every single question correct. So there's no reason you get these types of questions wrong because they're really easy. You look at this, you're probably like, all right, so I do know that when the bases are similar, I can just set the exponents equal to each other. But the bases aren't similar. One is two, one is eight. So how can, the, how can I make the bases similar so I can solve for x, right? Well, guys, eight. Look at eight. How can you rewrite eight? You can rewrite it as two cubed, right? So let's do this. Let's rewrite this equation as two x is equal to two cubed x plus three. Power to a power, you multiply. So this becomes um, two to the three x plus nine. So now you have two to the x is equal to two to the three x plus nine. Same basis, so cross out the basis. And all you have to do is worry about the exponents. x equals 3x plus 9. So now I have to solve for x, all right? Let me just subtract x over, subtract 9 over. So I have negative 9 is equal to 2x. x equals negative 9 over 2. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now let's look at this for example. For an example. I want you guys to pause the video right here. Try this problem on your own for like 10 seconds. It only takes like 10 to 15 seconds. Probably 10 seconds. And see if you get the answer correct. So now I'm going to do it myself. 3x plus 5 is equal to 3 to the 3x plus 6. Why is that? The 27 can be written as 3 cubed. 3, cubed, three times x plus 2 equals 3x plus 6. So cross out the bases. Set these exponents equal to each other. x plus 5 equals 3x plus 6. Subtract x. So you get 2x. Subtract 6. You get negative 1. So you have negative 1 equals 2x which means x equals negative 1 over 2. And you are done. Pretty simple, right? So remember this, study this. And the main part about this problem that's special is that solving problems that, that may look pretty hard at first glance is a big part about the SAT. Always go to your fundamentals, all right? You know how to rewrite 8 in the ba with base 2. You know how... Um, exponents with similar bases work, right? You know how that works. So use your fundamentals to solve these complicated problems and then everything works out for you. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace out, peace out, peace out.